World War I has been called the War of the Camera, and it's thanks to Sir Max Aiken, later Lord Beaverbrook. Max Aiken was a uh, Canadian newspaper tycoon, and he had a huge influence in uh, political circles in the UK, and he advocated for this Canadian War Records Office that would document Canada's participation in the Great War, but also supply images for newspapers for home consumption. And they're about as close as we can get, even though they were, you know, admittedly created for propaganda purposes and for publicity purposes. Well, there were principally two photographers involved in making about 8,000 plates. They were enlisted men and they were assigned to the Canadian War Records Office. And then subsequently all these prints were generated for uh, newspaper use and as a record of the war. The camera was large, cumbersome and required a tripod. So clearly you couldn't be in no man's land standing there with a tripod. You had to be in a much more uh, secure place. Nonetheless, the photographs that they secured are as close as you can get to action uh, on the Western Front. This is one of seven books that were uh, assembled, uh, a selection of photographs that would represent the experience of British Columbians uh, on the front. And so these seven volumes were de uh, deposited in the provincial library uh, not long after the war. There were also photographs taken by a much smaller camera. So this was often referred to as the soldier's camera. It's a, a Kodak vest pocket camera. It was very compact for its time. It's only a bit bigger than your phone, very portable. But there was a uh, routine order uh, prohibition for uh, use of uh, cameras by soldiers at the front. They did use them during leisure time. Snapshots were often made while soldiers were recuperating when they were in hospital, but nothing really in the heat of uh, battle. One hundred years later, it's hard to imagine what British Columbia soldiers and nurses experienced during the Great War. These photographs, official and candid, help us appreciate their sacrifice.